October 15th, 2021, Front Street Shipyard. We're ready for the fall, getting moving towards winter. We're collecting all our boats for the winter. Trying to finish up a bunch of projects that are headed south this winter. We've got Pioneer back for some fall maintenance items before they head back. Uh, we have Traverse here, a gunboat that we've uh, done some deck paint on and we're putting a new generator in currently as well as uh, several other electrical and rigging upgrades. So uh, she'll be have a good winter south and then hopefully come back and join us next year. And mostly just collecting the boats in for the fall as we get ready to decommission them, put them away for the winter and begin their winter work program so that we're ready for the spring and they can have a good season next year with fully functioning boats and uh, all looking sharp and beautiful on the coast of Maine. Uh, so Bernadette's a 71 foot Trumpy that was here for storage last year. Uh, over the course of last winter, some cracks developed in her hull planking. So this year she is back uh, in our shed for a short period of time after being in the water over the course of the summer. And we are performing some plank replacement and seam repairs before she goes back into the water to store with us uh, this winter. And in the spring she'll get hauled again and we'll do a new all grip paint job on her. Princess Chloe's a Lagoon 77, approximately two and a half years old. And about a year after she was built, yellow discoloration started to appear in the gel coat of her hull and on her superstructure. Um, so she's here getting a full hull and house paint job. Uh, while she's here, she's also just getting some maintenance items. Uh, we're working on her main engines, uh, taking care of some alignment issues that she's had, as well as repairing a few other odds and ends on board. Uh, we're really excited to see Sunbeam back here this fall. We're so glad to see her back about a year and a half after we finished her refit. Uh, she, at this point, she's back for some routine maintenance, a little check-in. Uh, we are painting her hull as she gets it done every year, being a steel vessel as well as bottom paint, a new cutlass bearing, and some seasonal maintenance items. Well, Cambrio is a boat uh, steel vessel uh, with aluminum superstructure. A uh, couple had it built in 2018. Um, we had the boat here once before um, and they came back up and they're storing here for the winter. Uh, we're going to be doing blasting. We're going to be painting the top sides as well as blasting and painting the deck area, which is the steel parts of the, of the structure. We're not touching any of the aluminum. Uh, there'll be some work, some mechanical work, some electrical work, and some carpentry work inside. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good project for the winter. We also have a vessel going, um, it's a 64 Sundeer uh, sailboat that was purchased back in 2019 uh, by a gentleman uh, who lives over in England and with COVID hitting, um, things got very complicated as we all know and uh, he was kind of stuck over in England so the boat is still here um, but we're wrapping everything up. Uh, it was a major refit, we did new power system, uh, new electrical system in the boat. Um, we painted the decks, um, added a lot of features that the owner specifically wanted. Um, did air conditioning, uh, refab, um, like I said, the electrical system went through engine, generator, um, did a lot of electronic upgrades because the boat was a bit dated. Um, and, but he is thrilled with it and we just can't wait to get him back on it so that he can enjoy the rest of his time with that boat.